everyone how are you doing we welcome you all to the hands on video of the build 14291.1001 this build is the latest redstone build that microsoft has pushed to windows insiders in fast ring when i talk about windows insiders in fast ring it's about only those insiders who has got a device that shipped with windows 10 mobile microsoft has shared a uh, a list of devices which will be supported in coming weeks and they would be able to also receive the uh, redstone build but for now it's not possible so it's only possible for 550 650 950 xl and uh, one or two more devices so here you can see the build is here on this lumia 550 now coming to uh, reported and unreported changes so there are majorly three reported changes the official changes that microsoft has shared so we'll talk about them one of them is maps so uh, the windows maps gets a new ui but this did not come with the build itself we got an update on our device and with that update this uh, has arrived so here you can see the ui has totally gone changed there is no hamburger now earlier there was a hamburger menu here So you can see the various uh, settings, new settings on this map. Live tile, ease of access, your location, speed warnings, turn by turn navigation. So lots of features from here maps are actually, if you can see, they have moved to uh, Windows map, they have come to Windows map. So what is uh, new in this is that if you are searching, let's say we search for two or three places. So this now allows you to access those two. So I can go to this tab and here I can actually choose between uh, what I was working on. So I was like uh, checking the 3D cities so I can now move to or sh uh, shift to 3D cities or I can check the BTM layout. Uh, so whatever you are searching or opening, so that will be available in this tab. So it's like a browser, Microsoft Edge or whatever browser kind of stuff. And it's really helpful so you either you can close it you can close a search or you can close a 3d city so whatever you do with this map is now available for one tap access that's a very cool or good feature so the ui has changed and uh, we must say that it looks really promising favorites directions etc so this is how the map uh, the the updated map ui looks like it has changed and it will also appeal to the windows fans because that hamburger is gone so that's a good news then another change was something that we had already reported so it's in alarms and clock and it now has got a new uh, i mean the alarm setting edit alarm uh, ui has changed we have uh, we reported about this you can see that the ui has actually uh, I mean gone through a revamp it's different from what you will see on uh, the earlier versions the third reported change is about feedback app so two uh, apps the feedback app and the insider they have merged and this is a new feedback app that you can see it's just now a combined application which you can use for like uh, seeing the feedbacks announcements alert quests so it's a basically merger of two. So there were some known issues in this feedback app. So, I mean, it may be some how, uh, I mean, still it's working fine, but it may or may not be as good because this is the first version, but for now it looks okay, okay-ish. 
so these were the reported officially reported changes now coming to what we could find till now uh, during our hands on time so there are few changes which are not reported but they look really interesting so one of the changes that we want to show you is in messaging this was also leaked actually so if you go to the messaging app so there is something called default apps and here you have options to between like Cortana and messaging plus Skype so this is not clear it or this is not working it in the way it should be so you would not be able to use it but yes maybe in future there is some use of it so this is one unreported change coming to the second one if you go to mobile hotspot so there are like changes UI has changed from here so you can see that there are UI changes the network how it used to appear and there is something allow Bluetooth devices to switch sharing from Wi-Fi to Bluetooth so maybe when a Bluetooth device is connected here to the device if you switch on it toggle it on it will allow it to change the sharing from Wi-Fi to Bluetooth and then this this name has changed now it is turned on remotely while there was like I think this text was earlier there and this option was there but this turned on remotely something new which is written so this mobile hotspot has gone through changes and there is one extra option of allow Bluetooth devices to switch sharing from Wi-Fi to Bluetooth now third change is also very very interesting but it you can call it a change or you can call it a bug so it may be a future change but for now it looks like a bug so you see a new option in update and security so if you go to settings in the update and security you have this new option windows insider program something uh, like you see on windows 10 so where you can go and maybe you can set some settings do some settings like you can change your ring etc you may not need the windows insider app in the future that is my assumption but for now if you tap on this it crashes so it may be a bug or uh, it, it may be something that will keep coming in the future so these are the changes that we found while our uh, brief hands on with this build 14291.1001 so hope you have liked this video stay tuned for more as we bring the uh, hands-on impressions of this build thanks for watching